Okily dokily, here we have an Asian giant hornet, ah, also known as Vespa Matarinia. But because a living one has been found in America, and Americans are bloody good at marketing, it's now rebranded as a murder hornet. What a bastard. Yeah, nah, seriously, they are fair dinkum wankers. They mostly bully bees. A survey conducted in Japan found that 85% of bees reckoned they were absolutely fucking fed up with murder hornets. They steal food from the bees' fridge, they munch on unborn princesses, they act like they want to be friends when all they want to do is decapitate the bees and store their bodies in a freezer back at HQ. Beetles are also pretty fed up with them, they keep getting decapitated. Rats have been pushed to their limits, they get stung to death, probably decapitated over time. Mantises have been the only ones attempting to stand up to these pricks for years, but they keep getting decapitated. Joe Rogan would love commentating these fights. The hornets are genuinely good at executing a guillotine, and then they roll, they wear you down, they take you to decapitation town. Every time. It's fucked. Yeah, there it is. Off with your bloody head and your wings. The only chance for the mantis is to catch them early. Then they can relax and become the ones that chew on brains. That's what the insect kingdom is all about. Chewing on brains and breeding. Same as humans. Asian bees have discovered defense tactics. When necessary, they can swarm and raise the temperature around a hornet fuckwit. This means that they end up being toasted. Kill it with fire is the basic message from Asian bees. Humans don't have a defense tactic really yet unless we can get coronavirus to take down the murder hornets. That's one strategy in 2020 that we could use. YouTuber Coyote Peterson has let one of them sting him before. Doesn't solve the current issue, but it's entertaining as fuck. Ah! Oh, this thing stuck in my arm. Oh! I couldn't tell you why they want to leave Japan or South Korea. Some say they hitched a ride on a cargo ship. This video clearly shows they were created in a Tokyo lab, however, using monster energy drinks. Obviously, if someone fed them enough monster, they could fly across an ocean. <laughs> this is a case of the bully turning out to have been the bullied. This American expert is like, yeah, if you see a nest, don't panic. I mean panic a little bit, but don't overly panic or you will die. Falling in your home is still far more risky and we don't report murder ladders to, to the Home Depot. That's a fair down-to-earth point from another expert. Nonetheless, I'm gonna start being afraid because whatever Americans become afraid of, we become afraid of too in Australia. It's called trickle-down fear. It's how we operate as allies. Oh, come on, coyote, get up. It was just a little stinger. Surely it can't be as bad as a crocodile bite. We can find a place for murder hornets down under, actually. After watching how they operate, I'd say they have what it takes to be Australian. They remind me of us. 